All right, guys, check that view behind me right there. That is so cool. Right over there, the Isla Morada sandbar. And there's still a few boats there. But look at that beautiful view that we have here. And this is uh, the Drop Anchor Hotel, Isla Morada. They have their pool. They have a nice sand area there with some uh, tiki's. And then you can park your boat here at the sand here, which is uh, the Mando right there. But look at that, look at that view. Isn't that postcard picture perfect? And we're having a good time here at the pool. And then from this, we're calling it a day. Alright guys, we're here at Harry Harris Park ramp and right there we have the Mando coming up to pick us up to head out to the uh, sandbar again. So like I said yesterday, the party hasn't stopped yet so we're continuing a little bit more today on Sunday. So here they are right here. Sounded to me like yeah. you stepped on a dog's tail. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's true. Yeah, you brought a dog? come from Harry Harris Park just like that in a snap you're right here at the sandbar at Tavernier Key it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes or less if you have a fast boat probably one minute so right here and there's already people there at the sandbar over there there's another boat here it's about what 10 something in the morning approximately 11 o'clock 11 o'clock in the morning so here we are stay tuned all right, we got the biotizer mm -hmm. here, getting that barbecue prepped. Ready to go. Ready to go. We have people on this side here. It's pretty empty, but it's still early. It's a Sunday, so a lot of people take a little longer to get here because they were here yesterday, so they had to sleep a little more. But today, around noon to one, is when people start coming in. All right, guys. Here is another example of what I always say when you come to Tavernier Key, always go around on the ocean side and then turn around the marker that's there and you come in from this side here. Over there you have a boat. He came in from the ocean side and wanted to cross through the sandbar to get to this side. That's a no-no here because you will get stuck and they're so stuck there that they're trying to push it out and they can't get it. They can't get it to move because it's really on there. I think it has a little angle to the boat because I think it's so stuck on there that I don't think they'll be able to get it out anytime soon. Maybe, maybe at uh, higher tide they'll get it out. But for now, remember guys, when you come from the ocean side, go around Tavernier and come in from the mainland side and then you get here. But do not cross the sandbar. The sandbar is right there. When you don't know the area, the first thing you have to do if you run aground is stop immediately and then get back out and push the boat back out the same way it came in, as fast as you can. What amazed me even more with these people, they kept on pushing forward and forward and forward and they almost, almost went more than halfway through the sandbar 
until they found out that they couldn't push anymore because the tide went down too far. They rented that boat, and of course they don't know the area. That's the, the worst thing here is that you don't know the area. You have to be really careful and ask questions before you head out with a rental boat. At least you know where you can go and cannot go. And we have them here, so what happened is they went out there and I had to go over there and tell them, look, the tide is gonna go up in several hours. So they're stuck there now. In the afternoon, the tide will go back up and they can get float out. So I told them, go out there, have your fun, you know, drink your, your, your booze. What I need a drink, where's the booze? Whatever you bring, whatever you're happy with. And then afterwards, the tide goes up, the boat will float out, and then you're back home again. That's the only suggestion I could give them. But today has been a really nice day. It is peaceful, beautiful. Check this out. It's only a boat over there, boat here, we're here. That's the Mando right there. And right there, there's like another four boats over there. And here are the party with the boat that is, is stuck in the sandbar over there. But no matter what, stuck in the sandbar or not, you're still having a good time. This place is awesome. You guys have a good weekend, a good week. And we'll see you on the next video. So, peace from the keys. <laughs> oh, this is so what happens when you start doing it. And the other one goes and drop it over there. The green one and yeah. this one here. This one here. But the green one is all right. Oh, cute! Yeah! 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 <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> I got one of those, bro. I got an engine like that, bro. We're all booked. All right, guys, it's that time of the day on a Sunday. After Saturday and Sunday out at the sandbar, we're ready to head back home. And we're ready. Come on, Captain. Here we go. Do what you need to do. when you have a captain that knows where to go and exactly how to get home. No problem whatsoever. We're right here at Harry Harris Park. Entrance right there. <laughs> All right, this is one of the problems here. When you come in, you want to get in, get in to the dock with the winds favorable towards the dock. Here we have it against the dock, so let's see how this goes now. But we have a good experienced captain here, so I know we can get in there with no problems. All right, we just came in to Harry Harris. Look how close to the edge is there. But captain managed to get in against the wind on the dock. He did an excellent job to get in here to the dock. Against the wind, the wind is going this way, so it's pushing outward but he did an excellent job to get into the uh, dock here at Harry Harris. Okay. Now that was a flawless, guys, I gotta say, flawless on-ramping 
that I've ever seen. It just went through perfectly with no problems. He's out. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free, and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.